Steve here with Table Rock Tea Company. It's the end of 2018 and we just got our big shipment of tea seeds in. We cleared APHIS USDA yesterday and I'm going to make a video here to show you how we germinate our seeds at Table Rock Tea Company. One of the first things that we sometimes do, but not all the time, is a surface disinfectant with rubbing alcohol. Nothing special here, it's just what you would get at any kind of drugstore. And it's just a quick rinse that you would do to kill anything that's a microbe on the surface. Like I said, we don't always do that, it's just if you feel like you need to. And then we just let the seeds soak in regular water for 24 to 48 hours. It's super simple. You just take your seeds and you add them into a bucket. Once the bucket's full, you'll notice that some of these seeds are wet and some of these seeds are dry. Um, especially here on the surface. So that's all filled with water, so you're going to want to stir this every once in a while with your hand. But the, unless you have a big tub, you can't really uh, get everything wet. So I usually take a towel and I soak it in there and put it on the top surface. And that's going to keep those top ones in contact with water. What you don't want to do is have it so that this is hanging over your bucket or it will all wick out onto your floor. These have been soaking for 24 hours now. It's time to put them on what I call in the book the cracking sheet. This is just a tarp. You can use plastic or garbage bags with towels on it. It's just a place to dry out the seeds. You'll also notice that this area gets some sun, um, so that's going to help as well. So nothing fancy, just take a colander, scoop out the seeds. Drain it. And spread them out. There's a lot of discussion about sinkers and floaters. These are floating, so they're floaters. If you reach down, these are the ones that sank. The idea is that the sinkers have more dense mass to them and they are more viable. And so some people don't even plant the ones that float. It's never made a difference for us. We've always germinated out everything and we have very high percentages. So I would say plant them all. I like to spread the seeds out as thin as possible. A single layer is best. It does a couple of things. First, it lets the seeds dry more evenly and quick, quickly. Uh, but the other is it allows me to sort through. I pick out the ones that don't have holes. These, if you see any white like that, any of the flesh of the seed, these are going to sit in high humidity germination bins for the next five months. Seeds like this will rot, so you want to get rid of them. No point in keeping those, they'll contaminate the rest of your batch. Our germination mix here is pretty simple. We just use one bag of topsoil. It's pretty generic stuff. It is one cubic foot to one bag of all-purpose sand, and that's half a cubic foot. We mix it all together and that becomes our germination mix. This makes a nice sandy mix, which will become very important as those seeds start to germinate and you have to pry those tap roots apart. For our germination bins, we use pretty simple cement mixing bins that you can get at any hardware store. You're gonna take your sand mixture and fill about halfway or more or less one inch uh, of sand soil mixture into the bin. After that, you're going to take your seeds and you're going to spread them into each bin in a single layer. So cover this whole surface. When you're done, each bin will look something like this. You will then take the same dirt and sand mix and you'll spread it in a layer on top of those seeds. Once you have about an inch of that dirt and sand covering the seeds, you can smooth it out with your hand and make everything nice and even. We then take a mister full of plain water and start to mist the surface. I always say do it so that the dirt melts. You can kind of see how the dirt melts like that. That's all you want to do. Once you've finished moistening your bin, go ahead and cover it with a polycarbonate lid or glass, that'll work as well and then you're ready for the next step. We check the bins every day to make sure that there's enough moisture. You can see the condensation on the bottom of the polycarbonate here, but the rest is dry. 
So we'll actually re-moisten this where you can see on this one, it actually has moisture all across the polycarbonate. Once it's like this, we leave it. That's exactly what we want. So that's everything as far as setup for germination goes. As you can see, as I pan around here, we've got all these bins full of tea. Those will sit in here, at least in our climate in South Carolina, they will stay in here for the next five months. Basically April, May is when they'll start germinating out and I'll do a follow-up video for that as well. Um, I know many of you won't agree with this, but for me, uh, this time of year, planting is always a very spiritually significant time. Uh, something about burying those seeds and uh, hoping that they resurrect in the end uh, always just makes me thankful uh, to God. As you know, we are a Christian company and we try to honor the Lord in what we say and do. And um, for me, it's so stressful getting seeds here every year that I'm always just thankful that uh, God sees that through. So just wanted to end with that. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned to see what else is brewing here at Table Rock Tea Company.